So this will be part three of what I'm doing is going through Mueller's testimony and the effects it has on what we knew about the impetus for the Trump-Russia collusion investigation in the first place. The first video I did was on the Steele dossier and the fact that there were Kremlin agents that were supposedly the source of it. The second I did was on Papadopoulos, which is supposedly the start of the investigation and how this Russian intelligence asset MIFS had lied to the FBI. In both of those cases, we see Mueller's investigation is corrupt because he's allowing high-ranking Russians that actually had major interference in our U.S. election system go free. He doesn't involve looking at them whatsoever. So here's the third case I want to talk about that's cited with why we needed an investigation into Trump-Russia collusion. That's the case of the infamous meeting at Trump Tower with Don Jr. and a Russian lawyer named Veselnetskaya. The brief rundown of the case is this. Uh, Trump gets connected with this Russian lawyer through another Russian, and they're saying, hey, the Russian government wants to help your father. We have dirt in Hillary Clinton. Don Jr. says that sounds great. Sets up the meeting, goes to the meeting. There's no dirt. He leaves after 15 minutes. Now, this has been touted as proof of collusion. It's not. Mueller did a two-year investigation and decided that he wasn't going to charge anyone, which was well within his ability to do so if he wanted. So it proves that there wasn't any crime committed here. But even if you do think that there was a crime committed here because you're not allowed to get dirt from Russians, well, that's exactly what Hillary and the DNC did, so they would all be guilty as well. And in addition, they went to the Ukraine to get dirt. In the case of Russians, though, they just paid an intermediary to hire a former British spy to get dirt from Kremlin officials and then use that dirt strategically. They actually got the dirt. Don Jr. never did get the dirt. And yes, I know people try to make the ridiculous argument that somehow paying an intermediary makes it acceptable. It doesn't. If you look at the legal statute, it says that you're not allowed to get a thing of value from any foreign citizen, even through an intermediary. So they would be guilty as well of this. But neither of them are guilty, as I've argued all along. It's shady, but people get dirt all the time. Now, if you offer a quid pro quo or something like that, then that would be illegal. But that didn't happen. Anyways, what this has to do with Mueller's testimony is it as follows. Mueller was specifically asked why he included 14 pages about this Trump Tower meeting with this shady Russian lawyer, Veselnetskaya, but he neglected to mention the fact that the person who runs the firm that Hillary and the DNC personally hired to get the opposition research on Trump. This firm was called Fusion GPS, and the man who ran its name was Glenn Simpson. He actually had a working relationship with this Russian lawyer. Not only that, but he was connected to a Russian company called Prevza, that, a Prevzon that was actually sanctioned by the US at the time. But he met with this Russian lawyer, Glenn Simpson personally had dinner with her the day before and the day after the meeting that she had with Don Jr. in Trump Tower. Glenn Simpson claimed that the meeting with Don Jr. never came up, which defies all belief. But when asked specifically, Mueller, why didn't you mention that people connected to Hillary, basically a DNC operative, also met with this same Russian, why didn't you include that in your report? He says it's out of his purview. Again, another example of when it's a Russian that's connected to the Hillary or to the DNC, no interest in looking at. He doesn't care about that Russian interference. He doesn't care that this Russian lawyer that he claims is supposedly shady and it was shady for Don Jr. to meet with her, doesn't care that she's also meeting with the people that Hillary Clinton are paying. That's absurd, and again, it proves the corruption. Now, if, don't just look at this in a vacuum. This is a pattern. Take the past two videos I just did and watch them. We see in the case of Steele, he didn't go after the Kremlin officials that spread the lies that were the most effectual example of Russian interference into the 2016 election. With the example of Papadopoulos, he charges Papadopoulos, even though Papadopoulos didn't do anything to harm the United States, he just lied to the FBI. But the actual Russian source that was behind Papadopoulos also lied to the FBI, and Mueller didn't charge him. Coincidentally, that person has connections to Western intelligence and the Hillary Clinton. And now we see another example. Even though Veselnitskaya wasn't charged or Don Jr. wasn't charged with meeting with her, the implication that's giving in volume one is that it was very shady for Trump to meet with this lawyer. But he totally neglects the fact to admit the exculpatory evidence that she was also meeting the day before and after with people that Hillary was paying to come up with the strategy to defeat Donald Trump. Over and over, this is the case. Just like with who's decided to be charged in other instances. Remember, Manafort works with Manafort's Trump's campaign manager works with the Podesta group who was the founding company of Hillary's campaign manager in 2013 to lobby illegally without filing as a foreign lobbyist. Manafort gets put in solitary confinement. The people connected to Hillary get to retroactively file paperwork. Over and over and over, we see this is the case. 
Now, if we really were interested in looking at Russian interference, which again, how I started these series of three videos, that's what Nadler said, that's what Comey said, that's what the Democrats said, that's why they all say that it wasn't a witch hunt, it wasn't a waste because we need to stop the serious thing of Russia interfering in our system, then why are these connections to the DNC and Hillary with Russians and the Russians they had connections with totally ignored? Not discussed at all in the Mueller report. Just coincidence, I suppose. So when people say, the first video I did today was about how it's clear that Mueller had no clue what was in his report and that actually the people writing it were the Democratic Hillary supporters that were on his team, like Weissman, Zelby, and others. Some of which personally worked with as lawyers for the Clinton Foundation. Weissman, who would be in charge, actually attended the election night party with Hillary Clinton. Why is that bias important? Because we see it actually had effect. They're not looking at any Russian interference if it means it's connected to Hillary or the DNC in any way. That proves that the investigation was corrupt and a sham. It was never about stopping Russian interference. It wasn't about giving an objective look at the evidence of how Russians had connections to all sorts of people in the United States. It was merely an attempt to smear Donald Trump and take him down and help impede his presidency. That's it. So I'll be putting out more videos. I hope you like this one. Uh, if you do, please like and subscribe. Recommend me to some other people. You can follow me on BitChute as well. I would really appreciate that. Robert Nor at BitChute. And I uh, look forward for more material coming out in the near future. So thanks a lot, everyone, and have a good one.